Thank you everyone for joining all the Unitarian Church of Edmonton and Westwood Unitarian congregation members and friends. This is very nice of you to come and help so more people can learn about this. I'm sorry that you all have to be silent bodies initially, but this will make sense in the end. So right now, what I'm doing is you can see my screen. You can see all my lovely helpers. And at the bottom, when I wiggle my mouse, because I am the host, when I click on the more button, I see a thing that says breakout rooms. When I click on the breakout rooms, something pops up that says create breakout rooms. I am going to automatically assign participants. And when I change the number of rooms at the bottom, you can see it changes how many participants are in each room. So I'm going to create six breakout rooms, which will be two to three participants per room. When I click create rooms, you'll see, I see the breakout rooms that have not started yet and it shows who's been assigned into which room. I will open the rooms and that will give people a chance to join them or not. So I've opened all the rooms. Everyone can join as they so choose. And you see people disappear into rooms. On the screen, you can see when they have joined, it's a, they get a green button or it's sort of grayed out saying not joined. I'm going to close all the rooms so everyone can come back. It takes one minute, which feels like a very, very long time when you're doing a video, but it is less than 50 seconds now before everyone will be back. In the meantime, I'll show you, if I click on speaker view, there's just the speaker with all my friends at the top, or go back to gallery view for the full image of everyone around. So in 30 seconds, everyone will be back and we will continue. On the side, you can continue to see who's in the meeting, in the, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, in the breakout rooms. You can see that people are still in breakout rooms, but slowly coming back into the center. In another eight seconds, everyone will be back into the center. <laughs> There's Bill waving hi. There, everyone is back into the middle. So I have closed, closing that. So now if my, some of my friends like Scott, uh, Karen Bishop want to leave, I can show what happens to rooms when people have left and you're reassigning. Thank you very much for everyone that has helped me. It is a huge relief to see everyone showing up. It's really great. So I'm just waiting for probably my phone to hang up as well. Poor Scott's managing four devices at once. All right. So now I'm going back into breakout rooms. So it shows how all the breakout rooms were originally put together, but people have left. So some breakout rooms will have less people now than they did before. The bottom left, it says recreate. So I'm going to recreate the rooms. I'm going to have less rooms now so there are appropriate numbers of participants in each room. So when I recreate rooms and open all rooms, people will be able to join different rooms. So if everyone, all my participants can try to join their appropriate room, on my screen, I can see all the people that are joining the rooms. And in the next example, I'm going to show how to move people into different rooms.
So let's see here. I am going to pick on Susan and I'm going to move her from breakout room five to breakout room four. Susan should have an option now to join into breakout room four, which she has done. So that's worked out perfectly. I'm going to close the rooms because it does take that full minute, but I will scroll through so you can still see how the breakout rooms are. If I want, I could join any breakout room as a host, go through the breakout rooms and make sure everyone is doing okay. Again, all my participants can't see this and that's just the problem with being bodies today, but they're being so helpful and patient, it's really great. I really appreciate this a lot. I can move this box around on my screen so I can see who's coming in, who's not there. On my right hand side, I can see my participants. I can see the chat. Someone sent me a message privately. Sorry, Yvonne, this is the way this meeting is going. Unfortunately, all the participants cannot see this recording. That's just the way the bodies work right now. Um, so everyone is back in. I've shown the different examples. I'm going to do one more example of breakout rooms. So right now I've been doing random assignments of breakout rooms. Right now I am going to recreate breakout rooms but I'm going to manually choose rooms, which I should have tried doing before, but I hadn't. So here we are, we're all experimenting together. I'm recreating the rooms. Okay, so it brings up breakout room one, so I can assign. So I'm just gonna go alphabetically. So I've assigned some people rooms and some people won't get a response saying that they have a breakout room. This way, I know some congregations are using this for their youth groups and RE groups. So everyone could stay at the middle for the Sunday service or they could break into smaller groups for youth classes, RE classes, etc. So it's another 35 seconds, which feels like a long time when you're talking to yourself. But this is going really well, and I, I cannot say enough how much I appreciate everyone that has joined to help out. This is great. Uh, I really hope this will show people that what we call tech for Zoom is really not very technical at all, and it really is an easy job once you done one practice, you should be able to do it without problems at all. So here we go. Everyone is back into the center. I see all the sh shining faces. This is excellent. I think I have shown everything that I'm going to show right now for breakout rooms. So this will help people do a community question in the middle and at the end if people leave you can redistribute rooms without people being stuck by themselves in a room. All right, I'm going to stop my recording and then come back and answer everyone's questions.